Chiang Casino. Uh, the treasure cross keys. The treasure cross keys, Chiang Casino. Each one of us, when we were born, has received a treasure box like this. The treasures can only be revealed to us either when we die or during our lifetime if we find the key. My fellow Toastmasters and friends, imagine you are holding your own treasure box. Do you have the keys that will unlock the treasures inside? It was in June 1999 when I started college. One night, my brother saw me crying. Immediately, I was surrounded by my mom, my two brothers, and my two sisters. My mom looked at me and at my bed, then asked, Sheila, who is the father? <laughs> I was not pregnant at all. I was crying because I felt intimidated at school. I am not smart enough to be admitted in any higher ranking public university in the Philippines, so I studied in a private college where my sister works. Coming from a humble background, I was shocked. My rich classmates live in high-end properties. I live in a poor community. They drive their own cars to school. I use public transport. They use expensive makeup. I use Johnson's baby powder. <laughs> so I said, I don't want to study anymore. I don't want to continue. My sister said, Sheila, Sheila, I understand you. I experienced the same. And someone told me, if you cannot find any reason to continue or achieve more for yourself, do it for others. Do it for others? I looked at my mom, my widowed mom. She would do everything for us. She's the best borrower in the world. Borrower of money just to give us all a good life. For my widowed mom, I continued studying. She is my key. August 2007, I got a job in Bermuda. My salary climbed up from Philippine peso to US dollar. <laughs> At first, I was hesitant to accept the job because I'll be away from my family and I don't know how to cook. But for my mother, so I could pay her loans quicker, I accepted the job. Guess what happened? During my first three months abroad, I would fall asleep crying. I missed my family so much. At one point, I told myself, I will never ever leave my family again, ever. After six months, I paid her loans. I even bought my mom her dream appliances. I have achieved my goal, and I knew that I could achieve more if I will continue working abroad, but no. No more crying, no more lonely nights. I will only finish my contract and will go back home permanently. April 2008, I was in the Philippines just for a vacation. My mom and I attended a prayer singing meeting. So there's prayer and sing, pray, sing, pray and sing. Many of the attendees were out of school youth, which is normal in our poor community. That moment, I realized how blessed I am for having my mom. But at the same time, there's something bothering me. The thing's problem is money, which I can earn easily abroad, but I'll be lonely. I prayed, prayed, and the song was played. By name, I have called you. By name, I will send you forever with you I will be. I was just crying. At home after the event, my mom said, Sheila, why were you crying? Who is the father? <laughs> I told her I'm not pregnant. And I told her my plan that I will work overseas as long as I could. But then she said, but I thought no more crying, no more loneliness. I said, I will do it for others. I agreed to support the teens in their schooling, but there's one issue. When I returned to Bermuda three weeks later, my manager said, Sheila, unfortunately, we will go 
close our branch so you don't have to finish your contract anymore. You have a month to find a job, otherwise you will go back home to Philippines. I did not say anything, but in my mind, well, I could go back to my simple living, but what about the things? What about their future? So I applied in different companies in Bermuda and in other countries, but I got the same response. Sorry, don't, you don't have an international accounting qualification. Sorry, you cannot communicate well. Sorry, sorry. But long story short, I was transferred from Bermuda to US, so I was able to support the teens until they finished their studies. So since then, there are more than 30 students already graduated and supporting their families. What's the big secret? All along, to ensure that my job is secured for the teens, I studied accountancy again and joined those masters. The teens are my keys. The treasures in this box were revealed to me because of my mom and the teens. Because of my mom, I got my bachelor's degree and reviewed the job. Because of the teens, I got my international accounting title and recently my DTM title. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, imagine you are holding your own box. Do you have the keys that could unlock the treasures inside? I encourage you to discover your talents, to explore your strengths, and reach your full potential. Do not wait till you die. Let your treasures be revealed to you now. Find your keys. It could be your family member, your partner, or a fellow Toastmaster sitting next to you. Finally, remember this. If you cannot find any reason to continue or achieve more for yourself, do it for others.